You do not have to go to a fancy restaurant to enjoy restaurant quality lobster tail. You can make it right at home for much less than going out. This lobster tail recipe has a buttery flavor, a tender, delicate, juicy texture, and it's ready in just 20 minutes. Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and I make easy, healthy recipes with 10 ingredients or less. So today I'm showing you how to cook lobster tail using my favorite method, the broiler. And if you're intimidated by this, don't be. It's actually very easy and the ingredients are simple. I'll show you how to butterfly lobster tails, how to season them, and how to cook them perfectly every time with any size lobster tail. There's actually a formula to the time that you'll need. Let's do this. If your lobster tails were frozen, make sure you thaw them in cold water first. That way they are going to cook evenly. Now the first thing we're gonna do when cooking lobster tails is to butterfly them. That basically means cutting through the hard shell and splitting it open. There's a couple ways to do this, but I'll show you my favorite way when I'm broiling lobster tails. So I'm going to hold down the tail end of the lobster tail and just carefully cut down the center of the shell. It's okay if you cut through some of the meat, but you don't want to cut through the bottom part of the shell. I'll link these kitchen shears down below. They look like little scissors, but they are extremely sharp and I actually like these better than other shears that I've tried. And now I'm just going to kind of open this up. This is probably the most challenging part because it can get a little stuck and just go slowly so that you don't break the shell too much. But if a few pieces break, that's perfectly fine. You might see a dark line down the center of the meat. That's the intestinal tract. It doesn't look very appealing, so just remove it even though it is safe to eat. Now you'll pick up the lobster meat out of the shell. It'll still be attached to the end, which is normal. Just push the shell together underneath and place the meat on top. Repeat this process with all of your lobster tails and place them on a lined baking sheet. The next part of this lobster tail recipe is the lemon butter sauce we're going to put on top of it, and this is very simple. We'll start with a quarter cup of salted butter. You can use unsalted and just add salt if you prefer, but I just use salted. And just go ahead and melt that butter. Next, I'll add two cloves of crushed garlic. I recommend crushed instead of minced here because minced garlic could burn under the broiler. And two teaspoons of lemon juice. I always think fresh tastes best, so I'm just going to squeeze a lemon and squeeze her here. I'll link this below for you. I think this one works really well, and I just squeeze it over a measuring spoon. That way I'll know exactly how much I'm getting. Some simple seasoning here, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, though you could use sweet paprika as well if that's what you have on hand and a little pinch of cayenne pepper. You can adjust the amount to your taste. Whisk this all together until it's nice and smooth. I like to use this little mini whisk. It's perfect for small amounts like this, and I'll link it below as well. Now I'm going to brush this delicious butter mixture over the lobster tail. Make sure you scoop the brush into the bottom of the bowl. That way you get that crushed garlic on every piece of lobster. And this does seem like a lot at first, but as you keep going, you'll see that a lot of it drips down into all the nooks and crannies, and this is what's going to make your lobster so flavorful. So I'm ready to broil these lobster tails and I'm gonna tell you my trick about getting the timing perfect every time. The key is to broil these for one minute per individual ounce of tail. So what that means is if you have eight ounce lobster tails, doesn't matter how many, you're going to broil them for eight minutes. If you have five ounce lobster tails like I have here, you're going to broil them for five minutes. You get the idea. And this is why it's more convenient that the tails are all the same size, same weight, Otherwise, you're gonna be pulling them out of the oven one by one to get the perfect doneness. I love this one minute per ounce of individual tail formula because I know they're gonna be perfectly cooked and I can see that they are without having to need a meat thermometer. But if you do wanna measure the internal temp, what you're going for is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. To serve these, you'll need some melted butter, highly recommended. And I actually like to put a little bit of this on right away, even before serving, just to refresh a little bit. A few lemon wedges on there. And I'll give this a squeeze of lemon on top. And for a finishing touch, some fresh parsley. You can skip this if you like, but I think it adds some nice color. Not gonna lie, it's not a special occasion today, so I'm pretty excited that I get to have lobster on a random weeknight. A little bit more lemon. Never have too much of that and a little bit of butter in an individual dish here. Buttery, tender, this might be even better than a restaurant. 
Let me know what you think if you try these. And if you need a simple, elegant side dish to go with it, this roasted asparagus is fast, it's easy, and it goes perfectly with lobster.